everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another segment of my what I'm liking and not so much. So if you guys are interested in hearing what products I'm going to share this week of what I'm liking and maybe a not so much, then keep on watching. Okay, the first product that I'm going to share with you guys for the hair and it is the three minute miracle uh moist aussie uh, it's three times the three times the moisture in three minutes it's a, like a deep conditioner and i have gone through a couple of these already and i really do enjoy them a lot i forget what i think it's Anne marie i'm trying to think of the name of her channel i'll put uh, a link to her channel down below. She kind of reminded me of this because she was sharing an empties and I was like, oh my gosh, like, yes, I haven't used this in a while. Cause like I've had other products being sent to me or I, you know, just have other products I've been using. And I was like, I forgot all about this. So yeah, I pulled it back out and honestly, it's a pretty good, reasonably priced, um, brand. Yeah. Been liking this guy. Let's go on to some skincare products. Um, this I had gotten, I'm thinking if it was an influence do, influence do, stew, stew in, oh my god. Yeah, guys, seriously, can I even go with one video with not, yeah, influence do. It sounds, I don't know what that sounds like. Insulate, really? Cut. Influencer. <laughs> Influencer is a um, company that you can go through, and I think mostly anybody could do it, just as long as you give a feedback of a review, um, maybe do a video or have a blog, maybe, or something like that. And also, your products sometimes, if you're um, if you fit the category or you know who what they're looking for. So I got this sent to me a while back ago. I don't even know if I got to even share this on any of my videos, but this is from Curel and it is an itch defense, uh, instant soothing moisturizing spray for dry itchy skin. And this was perfect. I believe I might've even gotten this like around like winter time, like around January, February or something like that. It's empty now. Like there is nothing left. This comes out in one of those uh, spray moisturizers. I would totally purchase this. And I, I think I am when I go to Walmart within the next month, I'm going to purchase another one of these because with, you know, we're going to bring this. Mm, I hate the thoughts of thinking about fall. I'm sorry. I'm just not a fall winter person. I am the spring summer gal. So, um, but when we're getting into these quarter months that will be starting to come up before we know it, um, this is something that I would really, or could use for them. Um, it smelled to me when I was using it like oranges, like it had an orange scent to it. It was really nice. I really liked it. I'm hoping my Walmart has it anyway. I don't know if I mentioned this in my likes. I know I shared it before, but this is from Danielle LaRoche Plant Stem Cells Firming Face Serum. This is a face serum. I got this in TJ Maxx as a matter of, no, I correct that. I got it in a Ross, a Ross. We have a Ross and a TJ Maxx. Those are the two we have. And that's where I got this at. Now this here, because like I thought I'm gonna give it a try, and I have to say, I like this stuff. Like I do feel like it does do some kind of firming, kind of effect and everything on me. So this is what it looks like though. It's like kind of a more thicker serum. Do you see that? It's like a more uh, thicker. So it almost feels like a moisturizer as well as a serum but it sinks right as you've seen sinks right into the skin and it feels so nice um the scent it does have a perfume scent uh it doesn't bother me because it goes away after a while but it does have a perfume perfume scent and it is just a wonderful wonderful serum so i would definitely pick and this is like a nice glass you know bottle so i would highly recommend if you go in a raw seeing if they have daniel 
La Roche. I think Amazon does. I did see some on there. Still not a bad price point for, for, the, for these, so yeah. Okay, a product that I'm not liking so much. I only actually have one, which is good when you only have one or none, obviously. And I was giving it a try. Now, I'll probably still use it, but it's just such a weird concept to me. All right, but this is that Spa Original Dead Sea Face Cleanser, and it's with Dead Sea Minerals. Because I only use this, I'll be honest, like maybe three times. And it's just so weird to me, so weird. Now I got this at TJ Maxx, if I didn't say that already. Nice size, 8.5 ounce bottle. And I like a lot of Dead Sea stuff. Um, but it has here, it says, apply a generous amount to a cotton pad. Gently smooth onto the facial skin, avoiding the eye area. Do not rinse, like don't rinse it off. But it's supposed to cleanse your face. It was very, to me, I didn't feel like it was, it cleansed my face. I felt like there was, I still, I still felt like I needed to, you know, cleanse my face like I do. It just, it felt like I was putting a moisturizer on my skin or something like that. It was very strange, very weird. I can't, I can't explain it, but that's what it has here. It says, do not rinse, use daily for ultimate cleansing and hydrating effects. Um, yeah, it was hydrating. I will say that it was hydrating and everything, but it was, I'm, I just don't really like it. I think, I think if I did use it in the way that it's stating on here, I would probably use it only in the morning. I wouldn't use it at night because at night I really like to get rid of all of the whatever from the day, you know, like whether you're wearing makeup or not. I didn't feel like it cleansed my face. It's like, I'll show you. Okay. So there it is, right? Okay, and now I don't have it on a cotton pad, but even even the texture, like it feels like, and it, you know, it's very, it smells like that very strong perfume scents that I don't like, the ones that give you a headache kind of smell. Yeah, that's that's kind of, but it's it's really weird. It's like you me, it feels like a very hydrating moisturizer it's supposed to give you a deep cleanse i no i don't i don't i don't see it oh i gotta deal with that scent all but all day oh don't wash that off i've been showing a lot of my perfumes but i've been trying to go through different perfumes some were samples and some are ones that i have it's from the dolce gabbana and it's the light blue it's like the bottle you know it's like a little little mini me it's really cute after that scent that I just had to deal with from that stuff, this smells like heaven. But I love the smell of this Dolce Gabbana, and I know so many others rave over it and love it too. It just, it has that beautiful, citrusy, fresh scent that I love. I, I really love it. It's so funny, I'm like wearing a t-shirt, but I look all glam, like I'm ready to go somewhere. So we're going to go through makeup. So I got the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal uh, by Face Studio. This concealer here, I, I was reminded why I really liked this one. Because I want to do the tag that Jaclyn Hill did as well, your ride or die. And I was trying to think, because like I know I love a lot of Maybelline concealers. They are some of my favorites in the drugstore. It reminded me of why I really like this concealer because a little packs a punch. So a little goes a long way. Like there's just a little dab there, but there you go. Like, can you see that? Like that's just, that was even too much. So, you know, it gives you a really nice coverage. I mean, it gives you, it's crazy. So it gives a really nice coverage. Speaking of Maybelline, this is what I actually have on my eyes today is both of them together um, so you guys can tell me what you think and everything but that's what I have on today is both of these I put like one coat of this one on and this one and what the two are is Maybelline Colossal Volume Express is what I think that's how you pronounce it that's what's in the yellow tube and then this one is Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express 
now because there's this one's flared this actually says flared i think there's several different ones this all uh wand is like one of them typical fat ones that you see from a lot of mascaras this here actually I, what i was impressed with this one was it doesn't leave clumps like it didn't leave any clumps really on my lashes and it did seem to volumize and lengthen um i wouldn't say it volumizes as well and as much as i like it to be like my mali mali volumizing mascara or the pure cosmetics fully charged i think this is a pretty good mascara um to look into if this one here now i haven't used it by itself that one i did i had to I'll have to try this one by itself because I've only used it with that. But I'm not having a problem with it. I was a little concerned because it does have the wand that kind of curves a little bit. It's kind of a fat, fat wand too. So I was a little nervous of that. And I didn't have any problem. And it did seem to flare out my lashes and everything. I don't know how well you can see, but it, it did flare them out. And it, it was quite nice as well. Two really good mascaras to look into, and I think both were great. Both, neither one for me gave any clumps or anything like that, so I didn't have none of them problems. All right, next product is a blush from Wet n Wild. This one is the Rose Champagne one. A lot of people talk about that, which that's what I have on today. The Rose Champagne, it's so pretty. It is a very, very pretty blush. I like it there it is there very pretty okay lipstick i haven't used this for a while and that is what i have on my lips today it's from motives by lauren rittinger you know the motives company um I, I have gotten several products from them i haven't tried a lot but i, I do like what i've tried from motives I, now this one's in the shade ruby really pretty like berry red lipstick when i first saw it and i pulled it out like that i was like uh oh you know i didn't know if i was gonna like it but oh my goodness no it is a beautiful red right up my alley look how pigmented that is that is really pigmented really nice lipstick and then the last thing uh, which you'll probably see this in a later haul, because so this obviously will be up before my haul, is the Carly Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. Finally picked it up. I've been wanting to get this, and then I was like on the fence, and then I waited, and all this other kind of stuff, and then my husband and I and my son, we went out to the malls shopping, and we went to I went to Alta. Of course, I had to go to Alta. You know, of course, like of course, yes. The colors, everything is just gorgeous. I love these matte shades up here, along here, because they're like kind of, kind of right up my alley. You could say that's the look I have on my eyes today is from this palette, and these highlighters. Like this is the highlighter I have the second one on today. Oh that is so that almost looks almost not quite but it almost could look like opal a little bit you know from becca isn't that pretty i mean the highlighters in here are phenomenal of course this darker one i wouldn't wear i would probably wear it more as a sh yeah shadow um than anything i wouldn't even use its bronze like i know some people are like you can bronze with that no but it still was worth every penny it's like 14 something like 15 bucks for that it was worth every penny all right beauties thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate it um thank you uh to all of those who have been joining me along the way here and um i welcome you all and thank you so much if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up i'd appreciate that very much and it would help me out if you are not subscribed to my channel please go and click the subscribe button down below you can join me each week and as always be please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you take care i will see you then love you guys bye